Day and every day, first responders work tirelessly to keep our community safe. One way county father using a first responder ceremony to thank the paramedics who saved his son after a hit and run. CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith was there for the emotional meeting. They literally saved my son's life. I literally don't know what I'll do without you guys. Edgar Rodriguez tells a group of first responders and veterans just how much of a difference they make in people's lives. The 9-11 memorial service was held in a classroom at Wake Tech's public safety education campus. It recognized local heroes who have fallen and who are still fighting. I'm thankful because it could have been a whole lot worse. Rodriguez paid a special thanks to two paramedics that responded to a hit and run accident in which his 17 year old son was severely injured. It's a good feeling um, that we did our job and we did it appropriately. We did it correctly and everything worked out for them and we're happy for that. Fortunately, we were in a position to make a difference there. It's not always the case, so it's it's a good feeling when you do have the opportunity. The parents of a state correctional officer killed by an inmate earlier this year also spoke about the dangers faced by law enforcement members. They honored the people who gave their lives in 9-11 and those that continue to serve our communities. Your dedication will never be forgotten. Rodriguez witnessed the Twin Towers fall in New York 16 years ago. With his son still recovering from the accident, this day of remembrance has a new meaning. The United States needs to come together every day as we came together today to remember those that have fallen and to remember those that potentially might fall. In Raleigh, Carla Griffith, CBS, North Carolina. And taking a look.